No, you haven't warped through time, and no, this isn't June. Yes, we are talking about a 24-hour race that takes place at Circuit de la Sarthe. However, it's made from code, and it's being run on R-Factor 2. That's right, the 14th of January, which is actually today, if you're in Australia at least, sees the drop of the green flag for the 24 hours of Le Mans Virtual. This will be the third running of the event that began all the way back in 2020 during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic as a standalone event, before the race became a round of the Le Mans Virtual Series, which was created afterwards. Uh, like the previous running of the race, the 2023 event will serve as the final round of the 2022-23 to Le Mans Virtual Series. 180 drivers will line up on the grid across the LMP and GTE classes. Their lineups are made up of some of the best of the best from the worlds of sim racing and motorsport IRL. And many of the teams are big names in the world of esports, endurance racing and even Formula 1. Some are fighting for a championship, and others are gunning for glory at this standalone endurance special. With so many big names on the grid, including some from the world of Formula One, we'll be taking a look at some of the notable entrants so you know where to find your favourites among the grid of drivers for this year, and maybe find out some cool and interesting things as well. Now, I do apologise, this was originally supposed to be a fully-fledged video, like the ones I have done in the past for the 24 Hours of Daytona, and the 24 Hours of Lamar and the like. But I'm, I ran out of time to put together a full package, so I put together this short audio piece for you to enjoy. So feel free to put this on in the background, go do something else and listen to this, and enjoy the show. We'll start with LMP, and we start with the entrant, which is the clear class of the field, and the championship leaders, the number one team redline entry. Max Benecki and Jeffrey so Riefeldt have driven the this car short for the full season, for and have been enjoy. impeccable so for pretty much all of it. Feel free to put this on in the background, However, despite go do being something on track to win the championship this, going into the final round, the Benecki has reportedly left the team in order we'll to race for an with outfit LMP, affiliated And we start with the entrant, which is the clear class of the field, and the championship leaders, the number one team red is as follows. Max Benecki and Jeffrey so Riefeld together in the car short line order. Order. Driving alongside him will be GB3 driver Luke Browning, who participated in the race at Sebring. Diogo Pinto moving over from the number... We'll start with LMP, and we start with the entrant, which is the clear class of the field and the championship leaders, the number one team redline entry. Max Benecki and Jeffrey Rietveld have driven the car for the full season and have been impeccable for pretty much all of it. However, despite being on track to win the championship going into the final round, Benecki has reportedly left the team in order to race for an outfit affiliated with German esports production company and organizers ESL. As such, the number one redline driver roster is as follows for Le Mans Virtual. Rietveld remains on the lineup, and driving alongside him will be GB3 driver Luke Browning, who participated in the race at Sebring, Diogo Pinto moving over from the number two car, and finally, the headliner. Two-time Formula One world champion Max Verstappen is without question the biggest name on this lineup, and very possibly the biggest on the entire grid. Verstappen has a strong connection to sim racing. It's something that he has engaged with for a long time, and his ties to Redline are very strong as well, with the team actually serving part of his Verstappen.com racing initiative. Max Verstappen isn't the only Formula 1 headliner on the grid. R8G Esports, a team that ex-Formula 1 driver Roman Grosjean has a hand in, have two cars racing in the LMP class. The number 8 car will be driven by sports car ace Matthias Besch, Emil Frey GT driver Arthur Rougier, Jerry Toman, and Marcel Chinzik. The second car in the R8G stable, the number 18, will will be driven by Roman Grosjean himself, Mathis Poulet, Martin Hemmingsen, and Ulus Osgilderum. The number two car, which is the second of the red line cars, has had a rougher season than its sister car, currently sitting ninth in the standings. Although for Lamar, it will line up on the grid with a fairly stacked roster, consisting of current F2 champion Felipe Drogovic, IndyCar ace Felix Rosenquist, Luke Bennett, and Chris Lulum. We can't talk about the LMP class without talking about Williams Esports, who won the first ever Le Mans Virtual back in 2020. The number five Williams Esports car will be driven by recently announced IndyCar driver Augustin Canapino, William Trey Gertha, Jack Keithley, and Peter Briljack. The number five, of course, isn't the only car in the Williams stable. The number 53 AMG Team Williams Esports entry is, of course, a joint venture between Williams and Mercedes, and will 
will be helmed by Sammy Matty Trojan, Mercedes Factory Ace Raffaele Marcello, Jakob Brzezinski, and Nikodin Wisniewski. However, the number 53 car isn't the only car in the field wearing Mercedes colours, as the 63 is the full factory AMG Team Patronus Esports team, fielded by Esports Ace and GT driver James Baldwin, Mercedes Factory Ace Daniel Hunkadella, Graham Carroll and Bono Huiz. The season hasn't exactly been the kindest to any of the prototypes wearing either or both a Williams or a Mercedes badge. While these cars are competitive when all is well, issues such as a disconnect at the opening race at Bahrain for the 63 Mercedes have made this season slightly more difficult than they'd have liked. Williams and Mercedes will be hoping to finish the season strong at Le Mans. Second in the current LMP Championship standings is the number four Van Wall Burst entry. This season, Van Wall Burst became the first ever team that wasn't either Williams Esports or Team Redline to win in the Le Mans Virtual Series LMP class, taking first place at the eight hours of Bahrain. Jesper Pedersen and Jörne Semenchitz have driven the car for the full season, but for the final round, they'll be joined by Franco Colapinto and Brent Viskel. The sister car, the 444 Next View Van Wall Burst car, is being driven by Josh Skelton, Johnny Edgar, Mitchie Hoyer, and Darred Mirozek. The Le Mans Virtual Series also has a feeder series called the Le Mans Virtual Cup, where the top two in the standings earn themselves a seat in a guest car for the 24 hours. That guest car is the number 24 Le Mans Virtual Cup entry. The two winners of the competition were Sean Arnold and Zoltan Varconi, and they'll be joined by both Andy and Sebastian Priya which in terms of an endurance racing duo, you probably won't find too many more experienced drivers. Up next, we have another Lamar only entry, and it's actually quite a big one. Peugeot are bringing a factory effort wearing the number 93, helmed by Peugeot factory driver Gustavo Menezes, Malta Jacobson, Valentin Mandernach, and Maxime Brient. There are plenty of other teams that are worth mention too. Porsche Coanda Esports made headlines at the beginning of the season for its connection to the most iconic manufacturer in sports car racing, with two cars being the number 20 and the number 23. We also have the two strong Alpine Esports effort, Jensen Button's Rocket Sim Sport outfit, and the Ford backed Team Fordzilla, as well as many other cars as well. But those are just a few of the standouts in the LMP class. Moving on to GTE. This season of the Le Mans Virtual Series has been the story of Red Bull sponsored cars. One of those cars is the championship leading number 71 BMW Team Redline entry, which, much like its prototype sister teams, has been the almost undisputed class of the field. In the final round, the car will be driven by Red Bull Simulator Test and Development driver and Porsche Super Cup driver Rudy Van Buren. Prima LMP2 driver Lorenzo Colombo, and the drivers that have helmed this car for the full season, Kevin Siggy and Enzo Benito. The other Red Bull sponsored car, and you may be surprised to hear this if you haven't been keeping up with the full season, is the number 99 Oracle Red Bull Racing Porsche, which currently sits second in the championship. This car will be driven at Le Mans by GT regular Dennis Lind, F2 driver and Red Bull Jr. Ayumu Iwaza, and the two full season drivers Dennis Jordan and Yuri Kazdor. The top two in the championship aren't quite as close as they are in LMP. Oracle Red Bull won the first race of the season, but an early crash at Monza took them out of realistic contention, which has sort of set the tone for the rest of their season, allowing Team Redline to consolidate their lead. But they'll still be gunning for the win at Le Mans. Real world Formula 1 rivalries will also continue in the simulated world. Sitting third in the standings is the number 51 factory Ferrari entry, the SF Velas Esports team. This car will be driven by soon to be F2 driver Oliver Bierman, the brains behind SimGrid and Coach Dave Academy, as well as Ferrari GT driver David Perel, as well as Casper Stoltz and Christian Mikel. The SF Velas car certainly isn't the only Ferrari in the field. Among others, the the 888 R8G Esports entry won the race at Monza and will be driven by F3 driver Alexander Smolia, IMSA sports car racer Scott Andrews, Timotej Andonovsky, and Erhan Yoyoski. The red line entry we talked about earlier isn't the only Beamer with big names on its lineup. One of the recent headline makers was the number 10 Marla Racing Team because of a certain meme lord boy who's joined the lineup for Lamar. That is, of course, Jimmy Broadbent, who will be driving alongside Betsk 
Visser, Mikel D'Alessandro, and Mohamed Patel. In the number 89 car, the BS Plus competition entry, BMW factory driver Bruno Spengler will race alongside Philip Dennis, Alan Terzik, and Ibrahim Khan. We've also got two big team names from the world of the WEC on the side of a pair of Aston Martins. The virtual Dane train comes in the form of the number 95 Pro Drive Fira eSport entry. Up until Le Mans, this car has been driven entirely by Danish drivers, but that won't be the case for the final round. Lasse Back, real world racer and sim racer Andreas Jokimsen and real world racing driver and brother of Marco Lasse Sorensen will be joined by Brazilian sim racer Kaiki Oliveira. D-Station Racing also have a virtual presence in the Le Mans Virtual Series. The 777 will be driven by Charlie Fagg, who drove for the team in the 2022 WEC, TF Sport driver Henrique Chavez, Remy Delorme, and Mark Veet. There are a few other entrants worth a shout out, such as the two Proton Coanda Esports Porsches wearing numbers 77 and 88, the entirely Chinese run and driven number 25 in speed racing Porsche, as well as the Simsa Esports and Sim Marinello Ferraris. But those are some of the notable entrants from the GTE class this year. And that is your field for the 24 Hours of Le Mans Virtual for 2022. Who do you think is... Oh, 2023, excuse me. We're in the new year now. Uh, who do you think is going to emerge victorious? Comment below. I do actually read them all, so you may as well say something, and I'll try to respond to you as soon as I can. Uh, you know the drills with the socials by now. Uh, comment below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in today, and goodbye.